Hi there, my name is Andy Papi and welcome to my channel. First of all, I need to say something to my other followers on my old channel because I recently swapped to England to English and uh, I have to apologize. Just give me 10 seconds. Eh, hola a todos, soy de Papi, bienvenidos eh, de vuelta a mi canal. Tengo una noticia para vosotros. El canal a partir de ahora va a ser inglés. Haré un vídeo explorativo muy rápido sobre ello en un futuro. Directamente es que me he pasado a Twitch. Podéis encontrarme en Twitch todas las tardes a partir de las 8 de la tarde UTC, que es la hora general. O serían 7, perdón, 7, las, 7, las 7 UTC. La hora universal. Y bueno, me volveré al inglés. Perdón. Well, back to the video. We are gonna review the new league of the PoE. So, hi there, exiles. I'm my Didi Papi. Welcome to my channel. I'm a new guy around uh, streaming and I'm making content. This is my first video in English. I haven't tried this before. So, well, see how it goes. Um, my old channel used to be in Spanish, so I'm gonna change to English because I'm actually Russian and my second language is English and I live in Spain, so my first language is Spanish. I speak three languages at the same time every single day. I don't, I need to start looking at the camp by the way. Um, we're gonna change the new league. I'm really hyped for the league. I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen any spoilers. I've seen a little bit of spoilers. I think, I don't know how true they were. I'm gonna check it out. I'm really fucking hyped. I've been playing this game for last year and a half. Been no life in it. I have. This is the hours I have in the game. It's 2.5k hours in like a year and a half since I've been back. I've started playing in, in. I think it was Abyss League. I started. My, I took my first charity to 72. I actually followed the build. Uh, it was a ED trickster. Great build for starters. And if you want to try a starts build, I think that's a great build. Unless his game nerf to, to the ground with this patch so we basically are getting um the trailer for the new league today and um uh, we don't get any patch notes we know we don't know what's happening to the game until like a few days before the game i think it was like three days before the game we get the patch notes so we more or less get ready for our builds we see what nerfs we see what what is getting um Bones basically, and uh, if you haven't seen the game, if you haven't tried the game, and you like grinding games, uh, and you like Diablo 2 games, uh, the, the game because Diablo 3 has to be about. Sorry, I'm gonna leave that out for a bit. If you're a casual player, it's out, try Diablo 3. If you're gonna put some fucking hours in the game, try this game. It's a free to play. There's um, no no cost to play. You can play the game all through the campaign, basically. All the way down 10 acts, you don't really need anything. The only thing you will need at some point, I don't know why is this. The only thing you'll need at some point is only uh, stash tab, the stash tabs because the game actually gets clunky with the drops and stuff. You're gonna, I really recommend like spending the less you can, the less you want on the game. If you really like the game, I'd recommend buying a stash tab or I recommend buying a. A quad tab, I definitely recommend. Uh, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, not the private stash, the the upper, like the, the the like the premium stash. That's it, premium stash. So you can do the trades with people. You can list uh, things on the market and stuff like this. So you can basically, I think, you can actually get away with this on the sale with like fifteen bucks or something like this. If you want to invest in the game, you want to grind the end game, do it. Uh, still wasting time. I'm actually I don't look high because I work every day. I only do this for like after work because I do like play video games and I do it like four or five hours after work every day. So I basically start doing it on Twitch as well. So if you want to check me out, I'll be on Twitch. It's IDD Papi on Twitch. So if you want to come by, say hello, give me a follow. That's great. So we're gonna check this out. Let's see what we got. Read the, annun the announcement, let's see what. 16 day, 23 hours, 47 minutes, 57 seconds. Cheers to my no life for this time. With this time I hit zero, I'm basically not going in. Like, okay.
Path of Exile Delirium. A mysterious fiction has infiltrated your mind. A touch of mirror. Oh! <laughs> By the graphics? So the exiles? By the graphics? By the, just the, the, the image and the first race there? Synthesis is back, boys. You're in. Let's keep it there. A touch of mirror delirium. Reality turns into mist and your worst nightmares emerge before your eyes. How much expansion contains the Delirium Challenge League? The new cluster dual system. Sorry for my freaking reading. I'm Russian. I'm reading in English. It's my second language. So, powerful new item and for improvement, improvements on Atlas Endgame. Oh dear. Defeat the nightmare. As the mist of delirium. I I'm actually gonna skip this. If you guys wanna leave, uh, read this, I'm gonna leave a link into the video description, so check it out down there. Uh, I'm just, just gonna through really quick, I might even edit this in the, in, in the video, and don't make it that long, make it like 20 minutes, uh, 20 minutes, 12 minutes, 11 minutes, or so fast, we're just gonna go through the, uh, through the trailer, and go through the important stuff, like, if I find something important, I'm gonna stop. You can assume your new enemies in that. Boss against Savage Talents, the other human introduces dozens of little mods and modifiers, new bosses, horrifying demons floating within rare unique monsters. Ziz, I'm sorry, you're gonna die a lot again. <laughs> Just kidding, bro. You like no like the fucking game, you die so less, I'm actually embarrassed of saying how many times I died in Metamore compared to you. As you travel deeper into the Illyrium, you will experience more diversions and challenges enemies with greater rewards. We will yet let you greed and hubris draw you into the madness. Oh shit! That's just an assumption. A quick assumption before you see the trailer, before you check anything. But did you just put Delph Synthesis and this shit into one league? Because I'm gonna fucking poke if you read that. I'm gonna have to make something really big. Something big, AOE. <laughs> oh dear. No, it's safe. Encounter you once mastered can now be played under the effects of the delirium. So every league is getting delirium. Constantly ramping up the difficulty and rewards. If you're daring, you can exploit the area and simplify past conflicts. We go in timeless leagues now? Headhunter League? Orbs of Delirium. Oh. Oh! Let's see this. Orbs of Delirium can be amplified to end game maps to control how intense your delirium is. I'm fucking delirious as shit. You just screwed up. I play softcore. I play softcore. I'm sorry for your hardcore guys. <laughs> this is a fucking nice. You immediately plunge into the delirium for the entire duration of that map. A single orb creates a challenging encounter, but up to five can be applied to a map. So through a map device. Wait, five. Five. There's five sockets with the Legion device. Great. Okay, okay, what we get? Modifies a map item, adding layers of delirium with the currency item reward type. Unique, essence, maps. If you bitch about not getting map drops, this league, I swear, I'm gonna find you IPs, bro. Oh, so he's not going through devices. He actually slammed the orbs on the map. You can get, go up to five. Wait. Did the um, year 19 stage of the game? If this is gonna be. Uh, 
will be broken. With the in that scenes. Yeah. Search the deepest reaches of delirium for splinters and combine them to create the symbol simulacrum. Simulacrum. Into its portal and try to survive the ultimate endgame delirium challenge. Simulacrum. Splinter, how do you defeat that which dwells within you? Uh, sorry, I'm just joking by the way. I'm just joking. I'm just having an afterward beer. Unless you don't get the bad humor. Expand your path. Extend your passive skill to. My, my table needs to get higher. Extend your passive sweep by placing crusty jewels in one of its utmost sockets within the craftable mode that can improve the passive generated. Add one of 280 new notables. 280 new notables? How do you keep up in this area, yeah, GGG? Granny Geek Games, how do you keep up in this so much content out of you? Jesus Christ. When we craft additional socket with deeper nesting, close to jewels, let you ground your own passive tree. Let you ground your own passive tree. Isn't that thing, you know, big enough that I have to grind it now? I'm that nice, I like it. I don't get the shit out of it. Like there's actually zero info till I see the the, the video. Dropping from any monster in the delirium league. These new jewels are one of the most significant improvements to build customizations in the introduction of ascendancy classes. So basically it's telling you ascendancies. Like mini ascendancies. Ascendancies. Oh yeah, say that again. Ascendancies. I like that. That's it. Remain, please rename it to Ascendancies. Oh, yeah. Add five passive skills straight. Add uh, passive. I can't read. I lost it. I lost it. Add five passive skills. Added small passive skill grant minion have twin. You what, mate? People not gonna like minion minion post bumps. Three works. Other small passive skills also grant four percent child stress plus seven percent life. No, plus seven to maximum. Seven Did you forget percentage on that seven? One other passive skill is blessed. Rebirth. I have a clue what that is. One other passive skill is a jewel socket. Oh, so you actually get the socket back as well. That's a bit broken. But like, why? Why wouldn't you take that? Like, if you can add, if you can add other modifiers than just minimum modifiers, why wouldn't you take that? You get the socket back anyway. Adds 10 passive skill. Add a small passive skill to increase attack damage. Ooh, melee. Add a small passive skill, have 20 increased effect. One other passive skill is a devastator. One passive skill, drive the destruction. One other passive skill is a jewel socket. So there is no downside to having these. I wonder how rare. You had to make a unique thing here. What the fuck is a hollow pound technique? Come on, dude. Get the fuck out of my screen. Sorry for that. Hollow pound technique. You can just do a building while you are. I don't know how to pronounce that. Fuck you. Cucumber. 
That's it. Cucumber. When you cucumber, you can't just do with him while you are cucumber. 60 more attack speed while you cucumber. 14 to 20 added to attack physical damage percent next to you while you cucumber. You cucumber while you have a good blow. Main hand, item, or off hand. Cucumber. Record that. Change it. Better. Now. <laughs> Fucking hell. That looks bad. What are these weird shapes? End game improvements. Oh! Fuck. They get bars now. They get power bars now, right? They get power bars. Conquerors of Atlas revitalized. Conquerors of Atlas revitalized. Path of Exiles end game experience. In Delirium, we have made Conqueror spamming deterministic, reintroduced, sextant vents aggressive. These? Created extra incentives to reach higher awakening levels, re revamped Val side areas in maps, improved the Temple of Adzoatl, and more. That is actually scary. That is scary. To be fair, they still one shot you sometime. New skills and support gems, that's nice. I, I like to try out new shit if that's actually cool. What, what do we get? Do we get? Please load. Where? There. Blade Blast. Definitely blades that are now left behind by other oak knives. Blade Vortex and Blade for a potent combo? I think I'm gonna make a Blade Vortex build, guys. I don't know. I think DPS is in this league. My second character was Blade Vortex. It was my highest character after my first one. I learned after my first character. That's actually Pog. What's the other one? Kinetic Bolt. Find a projectile from your wand that bounces back and forth, working with each bounce. Spell damages further empowers the one attack. EB KB? EB KB combo? Kinetic Blast and Kinetic Bolt? I don't play the skill. I don't know. I don't like like physical wand attack. Never mind. Place the stone runes under the ground that spreads out of you as you channel. You can then channel mana into your runes, upgrading and detonating them. Place the stone runes on the ground that spreads out your channel, as you uh, so spreads out as you channel. You can then channel mana into your runes, upgrading and detonating them. Why would you use that from mines? I don't get it. It sounds clunky. I don't get it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. It's a little skill. Maybe I'm wrong. It's a little skill. Powerful new item. In addition to new currency items, cluster jewels, gems, and endgame simulate simulacro maps. Path of Exile Delirium issues many new divination cards and unique items provide new challenges to build the puzzle. Oh dear. Perfidi. Perfidi? 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 Perfidi. I'm gonna kill Perfidi. Increase meta damage, maximum life, and so different banners. Banners you currently gain one stage on meta here. War banner has. I might be high. Does that count as when they placed? I might be high. War banner has an increased adrenaline duration. Red banner has increased fortified duration. Okay, let me just stop bumping fortified. It's a really nice kill already. Okay, next one. Al Gore. Al Gore! More of this. I want to maximum energy shield. Plus 18 to gold lightning rest. Change to sap enemies and chilling areas. Chance, chance, change, not change, chance. Chance. 
Why would you sap in the chilling area? Enemies your chilling area so you can increase lightning damage. Oh, I see. No, no, it doesn't really make any sense, but since you're converting, like, it's sort of converting or adding on top of the cold damage lightning. It can increase the effect of non damaging elements. Does anyone actually use non damaging elements like slows and shit as a one in one skill? Like actually not making any damage but just using the element? Kitawa searching. Add discipline. Add discipline of Kitawa. Discipline of Kitawa. Every second consume a nearby close to recover 5% of life and mind. 10% damage taken if you can't consume a curse of the Corpse, corpse, corpse. Eh. The jewel socket has 20% increase effect per allocated passive skills between between it and your class starts in location. Huge radius. What? To all passives? Since the starting area? You're crazy. That's, OP. That's actually OP. That can be really great. That's 20% on top of every single node from the allocation of this jewel to the starting zone of your character. That's cool. Hmm. Five fossils. Oh, that's actually nice. Whoever made that, GG. Actually, a very clever guy. Dying Sun. Two cards? Yeah, okay. I'll take it. Great. The border parks. Oh. Where's my fucking. I need to find my wallet after the. Before the leaks that I'll get some support. I don't like the face, I like the horns, I like the back, I like the hood. Uh, actually, this actually looks insane. I like it. That's the portal effect. I've got the green one, I don't really care about that. The weapon effect, I have that in different color. You basically recolor this. Yeah, all them here. Come on. Bring some great one. That, that looks great. That actually looks great. What the fuck happened here? I have this in red. Like literally the same effect. Maybe about these rules? Maybe? It looks cool. I should get the white one. Just because I don't have a white supporter pack yet. I need to check. Alright. We check the video now. Whatever it is now. About it. for this hope this is too loud I hope this isn't too loud because I'm otherwise I'm gonna redo this part Did you find the darkest riches of your mind oh, looks fucking insane step into my world of twisted illusion that is cool as fuck witness the birth of fear I see that's, that that shit is gonna kill someone. Oh, wait, what? And if you're lucky, you'll be rewarded with power beyond all reckoning. Mm -hmm. A little madness may expand your mind. Your see? This is what I say. Brandy Gear Games, where do you publish content from? How many jewels was that? 271 it? You get delirium inside this shit? You get delirium inside this?
Hi, I'm Chris Wilson from Grinding Gear Games. Touch the mirror of delirium and your nightmares will manifest Chris. as reality. Existing enemies gain terrifying abilities and new foes emerge from the mists. I don't like the mist. Plunge deeper into the delirium to seek deadlier terrors and even greater rewards. That mist is gonna be laggy as hell. Delirium affects all Path of Exile content to greatly increase its risk and return. I hope this is actually getting really good Consume performance Consume orbs of delirium to put entire maps into a state of delirium. Each orb increases the intensity and adds a new reward type. Combine splinters from these maps to reveal delirium's mysterious endgame encounter. Let's see the portal. I want to see. Throw your passive skill Show me the portal. What the hell? I want to see the portal. I have a portal passives, problem. Add yeah. one of 280 new notables, or graft additional sockets and exclusive keystone passives. So we're gonna, we ain't gonna stretch that much this time, are we? Oh, we, we gonna use this. Experience delirium on Friday the 13th of March. Regrets are gonna be very expensive this week. Like I would literally farm regrets like like a motherfucker. This week. They are gonna be very, very, very expensive this week. And I think with the with the new uh these passive skill extensions that we're gonna get. With the f uh, we're gonna craft them with chaos arts and stuff like that. We're gonna basically re-roll them and the effects they can do. So people are gonna be re-rolling passives free all the time. So regret. I'll remember that. Okay, I guess we're done. I'm really, really. It doesn't look like, but I'm really excited for the league. I'm just not excited for the performance, maybe. That's why I'm not hyping up. And it's maybe because it's probably like 15, 16 days, is it? It's actually 16 days. 16 days, right? Yeah, 16 days left before we, the league is going to start. So I think like... Five, four days before, I'm gonna be really high. We're gonna get some more info and the stuff and and shit. Uh, I hope the performance of the game is gonna be really great. And yet again, I'm sorry, hardcore players, you're gonna die a lot this week. I see this is gonna be a really, really lean bro. And then so, uh, as a Content grades, I'm gonna have to say this year. I actually blanked out because I didn't want to say it. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Remember, you can catch me on Twitch uh, every day, uh, Universal Time at 7, 7 p.m. Universal Time. I stream after work like three, four hours, two and a half, three, four hours every day. Then on weekends, I might go 10 hours, I might go eight, I might go 12, I might go 16. Um, on weekends, I basically not like because I'm playing the video games all day long at home. So I see you guys over the Twitch. If not, I'll see you in another video. I'll probably be making these and just uploading this right from the Twitch. I'm gonna edit a little bit and that's it. That's video. Thank you, and I'll see you all around, guys. Peace.